Okay, a quick reminder of our format tonight. Okay, we're going to have an opening statement from the head coach, followed by questions for the student athletes only, and then we'll return to the head coach for questions after that. Coach, at this time. Oh, tell him to get oh, yeah, thank you. Um, well, I told you the other yesterday or whenever it was that I wasn't crazy about our bracket, you know, these, these two games here because um, I knew what we were up against. Um, and I really, uh, I, I can't say enough great things about uh, about Syracuse and Felicia and the job that she's done and how hard and how competitive her kids play. And um, But having said that, um, you know, we have some pretty tough-minded kids that when it was time to win the game, um, when a couple people tried to lose the game, we had a couple people on our team that knew how to win the game. And uh, uh, that's what you need at this time of the year. You know, you need people that can make winning plays at big moments, especially, you know, in the last five minutes of the game. You need people that can make those plays the shots that they have to make, the rebounds they have to get, the loose balls they got to get, the stops they have to have. And, um, you know, Aliyah didn't have a particularly great game, you know, offensively, but, you know, down the stretch, she got every rebound. And defensively, I mean, she just, um, you know, guarded the rim. I mean, everything that they got was on the perimeter. And, um, you know, we have the best player in America. And, you know, just saying that because the numbers in this world of analytics, the numbers say that she is. And the whole stat sheet says that she is. And everybody that watched knows it. And we're uh, fortunate. And we, we get to go back to where 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 it ended for us last year, and um, I think we're a different team, different mindset, and um, we're hoping for a different outcome. Okay, at this time we'll take questions for the student athletes. Right here in the front, please. Donna Mori, Hartford Current. Paige, can you? Talk us through the last few minutes, particularly after Mika fouled out. What uh, you know? What was being said? Uh, what was what was the communication like? What were those last five minutes like? Um, yeah, we actually have been in that position before against Notre Dame, um, and we had the wrong approach versus tonight. Um, we called a huddle, and we were like, "All right, we got to band together. We really got to focus and lock in." Um, the same way we did when Ali went out for the Big East tournament. Like you just get hyper focused hyper locked in and we didn't want our season to end. Um, so I thought we responded much better in a much better way. Syracuse is a great team. They made tough shots, great shots, um, and they cut it close. But I think we all just knew in the back of our mind, like we got this, like we just had a better, a better mental approach to it than we did the last time um, and just continue to spill confidence within each other um, and just know that we needed to make winning plays, especially on the defensive end, trying to limit their threes and only limit them to one shot. So just, I mean, the last five minutes was just trying to hyper-focus and hyper-lock in um, for all of us. Over here to the left. Uh, Jim Fuller, Associated Press. Paige, when you talk about your two freshmen, Ashlyn with the big steal and, and KK with, with that, that crazy three there. Yeah, they make winning plays. Um, they've been doing this the entire year. And again, we just try to spill confidence in them. Uh, it's, it's basically three seniors and all freshmen, so they have no choice but to step up um, to the plate and perform and contribute to winning um, and not be phased by the stakes or the environment or anything like that, and they do it every time. So, I mean, extremely proud of them. They continue to perform um, and not play like freshmen. Um, and yeah, very, very proud. Right over here to the right. Maggie Benoni, CC Insider. Paige, kind of on that same topic, just what was going through your mind when you saw KK make that big shot, and was that the play you guys had drawn up for that? Uh, I mean, yeah, the 
play with Europe was um, high ball screen. Um, I think both came to me. The the wing person stepped up to guard me, and KK was wide open. Um, and it's just a testament to her hard work. She comes in before practice every single day, um, does a guard workout with Mo or Tanya. Um, and so I think that was, like, her work in, in fruition, um, seeing that shot go down and, like, all the the hard work paying off um, and her just stepping up to the plate and being confident enough to take it um, and hit that big shot. So I, it was really, really awesome to see. Third row on the right here. Alexa Phil to ESPN. Cage, when you got that last rebound, I think with like five or six seconds left, you went to the student section when the b it was a dead ball and you kind of beckoned them to get loud. Just what was that moment like for you when you kind of set in that you guys were going to win and you were able to kind of harness the crowd's energy too? I, I was trying to re recreate the image that I had from two years ago. Um, but it's just so, so much fun playing here. I'm so thankful that coach recruited me here and I get to play in front of this great crowd. Um, and I just remember last year after the Baylor game was a second round game, I just went to my car and I was so emotional because these high state games, this game that means everything, um, I miss it so much. And I just told myself before the Big East tournament, before this tournament, just to embrace it and, and have fun. Um, and I and I prayed so hard a year ago today to be in my shoes where I'm at right now. So just to appreciate it, um, especially playing here in front of the best fans in the country um, with the best teammates and the best coaching staff in the world. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I give all glory to God, all glory to my coaching staff and my teammates for instilling that conf confidence within me um, just to have fun and play my game. So anytime you can embrace with the crowd is really fun. Okay, third row on the left here. This is T. Baker with the next Aaliyah. This is your last game in stores as a Husky. Uh, can you just talk through how you were feeling down the stretch as the game got closer and, and knowing this was your last game on your home court? Um, yeah. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I think knowing that the game was on the line. I didn't want my last game to be played in Gamble on the L. So I know that we needed the dub. And I think as a team, we just knew that um, we weren't done yet. We know that um, we're a better team than a second round team. So um, my mindset going into it the, the last five minutes or so it was just a game of possessions and to take it one possession at a time, not get too sped up and, and not um, slow the game down too, too slow. But I think that as a collective, we just made winning plays, and and individually, we all made plays, and as a collective, we just all played to win. Okay, fourth row on the right. <coughs> Taylor Massetta, 24-7 Sports. Cage, tonight's game had you matched up against another big-time scorer in DeAsia Fair. What was it like playing against a player like that tonight? Yeah, that's, that's one heck of a player. Um, definitely the numbers speak for itself, but one of the best scorers college basketball has ever seen. Um, a very tough cover. Um, I give Nika a lot of credit for chasing her around the whole entire game um, and making things tough for her. We know she's going to hit tough shots. Um, the objective was just to, to try to limit them and make them as contested as can be without fouling. Um, but she's the way she keeps the ball and the way she has it on the string. Um, she can shoot the three. She can get to her mid range. She can finish at the rim. So. I mean, a great three-level scorer, and she's one of the toughest covers. Okay, right there. On the right. Uh, Justin Gershon with the Daily Orange page. Sophie Burroughs had a breakout performance tonight, hitting six threes. What was it like sort of containing Syracuse's three-point barrage, and what did you see from Burroughs tonight? Yeah, um, they hit a lot of threes. Um, you're so focused on contain containing fair that – Sometimes other people get open and they stepped up to the plate and made big shots um, for their team. So you got to give credit um, to them. Uh, but yeah, they shot the ball extremely well from three. All right, last one for the players. Right here in the front. Uh, Aaliyah, 2.7 seconds left and you're on the line. You know, you, you obviously got the chance to ice, put the game away right there. Uh, you know, you exhaled. What, what, what went through your mind at that second? Do you remember? Um, that second, I was just taking in like the crowd and and just the atmosphere because the last time I touched the court on Gamble Pavilion, so I was just taking in everything and I know that I was gonna sink the two shots, but it was more just kind of reflecting on how far I've come and um, you know how far the the this program and how far 
the team has has taken me. So it was more exhale of, of comfort than anything. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. You can head back to the locker room. We're going to open it up now for questions for the head coach. Please raise your hand. We'll send the mic over. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> right there first. Uh, not sure about that. <laughs> okay, let's see Baker with the next. Uh, you saw some really incredible performances from your freshmen tonight, um, just clutch plays. Where does their performance tonight rate in sort of the history of UConn freshmen you've seen step up in these types of moments? Uh, it's It's been a while uh, since we've been in that situation where um, – They've had to do, you know, so much, play 40 minutes a, a game after game. Uh, it's not easy for them. Um, normally, you know, your freshmen are there, they play, and then when things start going sideways, you get them out, they get a breather, they get to regroup a little bit. But for them, it's nonstop. And... Um, um, man, it, I know I'm probably missing some, but I remember Ann Struther and Barbara Turner back in, you know, they played with Diana and they started as freshmen and we ended up winning a national championship and, um, you know, Bria Hartley and Stephanie Dolson, you know, every once in a while you get two freshmen that are forced into the starting lineup and you just keep your fingers crossed and hope that they have it in them and, and they're, they're two really, really competitive kids. Ice, you know, I, I think it's, it's hard to go from playing uh, 40 minutes, three game, uh, two games in a row, to now, you know, having to go in and out, in and out. So I've got to figure that one out a little bit. But, um, yeah, let's just hope they can, uh, they can keep it going. I'm really proud of them. It means a lot to them, and uh, I'm happy for them. Right down in here in front. <coughs> if you could ex <coughs> expand a little bit more, if it's possible, on Paige and uh, what she did tonight, <coughs> really kind of taking over, but particularly no matter how crazy the game got, hmm. she never throws up a crazy shot or an ill-advised shot. And you know, you've actually exhorted her to do that once in a while, right? That yeah. she she never really she she just cannot take a bad shot. No, no, it's it's. It's it's one of those things that uh, I think that the really conscientious players, the the great players that have so much confidence in themselves, but understand the difference between uh, what I want and what our team needs. Uh, this is the most shots this year probably that she's taken, um, and rightly so. You know, um, she's doing what we need her to do. Um, to win games and she doesn't just indiscriminately just come down here and chuck stuff up to to get points she passes up shots um that she would easily make and <clears throat> you know but when you look at you know the, the stats will tell you one thing you know um you know the 10 rebounds the six assists and um the four steals you know like all it, it's just, but, but it's like when they happen, you know, and how, how they impact the game that's so, that's so remarkable. And um, I, I just think we'll go, this, this, this team will go as far as she's able to carry that kind of a load, you know, as long as she keeps getting a little bit of contributions from everybody. Okay, right in the middle over here, and then we'll come down here. Coach, Ben Spector, WJPZ. You said this year's team has a different mentality than last year's group. How did you see that mentality out on display tonight? Um, this, this particular team, um, it, it's, it's weird what I'm going to say. We... We had a similar game last year from in, in the Baylor game. It was very similar. And I sensed that we were, like, coming to the, you know, the end. Um, 
and when we when we went up to regionals um we needed an easy game and we started off 10 nothing and we relaxed because we weren't we didn't have it in us to play a game like tonight and i i think we're a little bit different because we played so many games like tonight where we've had to play like this i think we have that build up those reserves build up a little bit now i i just and we didn't have pace so you know you know the mentality of this team is way different yeah just threw page into the mix so through to the third row here on the right uh, Alexis Kilpin, ESPN. Paige has talked about how, I guess, going into the Big East tournament, she tried to really learn how to play with joy and play a little bit more free mentally, even though the pressure was on her to step up. Have you seen that, I guess, mental shift in her to, in some ways, let go a little bit more, play with more joy while also having more of a burden to, to produce? Yeah, Paige is a, f <coughs> Paige is a fun loving kid who um, does play basketball for the joy of it, not for the adulation that comes with, you know, with it or, you know, I'm, uh <coughs> I'm playing to be first team All-American or I'm playing to be whatever. She's playing for her teammates and she plays for the love of the game. And I think she would love nothing better than to have a full team of contributors so she could just have fun playing and not have to carry all that. Um, but, you know, that's, that's the hand that she's playing right now. And um, as I said, I, I, I have so much respect for her and, and what she's doing. I can't, can't say enough things about her. Um, really, I can't. There's just, there's just too many too many things that she does. You know, we'll go, we'll go through a, a shooting drill sometimes for five minutes, and uh, not one other person will make a shot except her. And it, 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 it really makes you shake your head and go, where, when these guys start missing and they start doubting themselves, what if she wasn't there to, to break the, the string? You know, just little things like that to make them feel better. And the fact that she passed it to, to KK, KK stinking, man, the best player just passed it to me at crunch time. I mean, that's just a huge confidence builder, you know? And plus, you know, she was on a roll. She made her last one. She made the first one of the game and the last one of the game. A little streak. So fourth row here on the left. She was cooking. <coughs> Go ahead. Chris Carlson, Syracuse Post Standard. Um, Gino, given the setting in the handshake line, it seemed like you stopped Deasia for a decent amount of time and gave her a hug. Uh, what message did you try to send her off with? I love hugging the guys that are leaving. <laughs> Just thanking them. Hey, thanks. You guys are great. Now get the hell out. You know, I don't want to play against you anymore. Uh, I hope she. I hope she's out. Oh, good. Um, you just have to have a lot of respect for kids like that. You know, she was very emotional in that line. Um, you know, she's a competitor, fierce competitor, and she wants to win. Um, she came along with, with Felicia, and they've transformed that program, you know, into, um, into a top 20 program and uh, set the stage for what's coming next. And I just admired, you know, how she plays and – the confidence she plays with, and um, she might have been on the team when we, I don't know if she was or not. We played Buffalo in the NCAA tournament one time. She might have been on that team. I don't know. She, Felicia always has somebody that kicks her butt. <laughs> uh, last one here is uh, Pat in the front. You know, Nika picked up three fouls in 30 seconds to foul out of the game. What, at that point, they were making their their run. What did you, what did you tell the team at, uh, at that point? And, and can you just talk about their response to Nika being out of the game? You know, you know, you have a good team when 
everything that needed to be said was said by the players, not me. So if they just sat there staring at me, deadhead, and waited for me to tell them everything was going to be okay, I, I would have had a problem with that. So during the timeout, I sat down, and as I'm thinking about what I'm going to say, obviously, they're telling each other this is what's going to happen. So they were coaching the team, and that's when you know you have a really good team, when the players are coaching the team, and they're saying the things that you would say. It's, you know, it's more impactful. They own it. It's theirs. Um, you know, and I'm glad they did. It's not what I would have said completely, but I did tell Nika to go sit somewhere where I couldn't look at her. Just concentrate on the players that are in front of me. I don't want to get distracted. Okay, thank you very much, Coach. Appreciate thank your you. time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Syracuse will be up momentarily. Thank you. Thank you.